Hello, and welcome to Ashes. No fuck. Uh, God damn it! Uh, wreckage of the old boats, episode three, part possibly one, unless the characters die in the next hour. And one, a half. Two, three, one. Yeah. Two. That two. Three. Uh. So, uh, last we left our intrepid adventurers, they were on a mountain. Mountain man! And the something something place temple. Oh, yeah, the something someplace temple. Who could forget the something someplace temple? Yes. Such an, such an in- interesting name. <laughs> something something place temple. <laughs> Benefiting its very unique uh, properties and purpose in the this world. Of housing yep. a mask of destruction or meanie headness or something. Yes, it's a damn shame you fucked up the history check. Anyway, uh... <laughs> you would have forced me to actually think up a name for it. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so, uh, where are you going? Where, we, where, what we you were going? heading towards Spice Bay because we figured that the the captain of Icky's crew, who is now wearing the mask of meanie headness and being possessed by it, would mm-hmm. want to cause havoc because he said he was going to do something like that. And to do that, he need people. So we were like, let's go to a place. There's a place over that way. Let's go. Eh, okay. Uh, so, uh, are you taking a long what? rest first or just quickly moving uh, to Spice Bay? Like uh, up? usually I would say let's just fucking chase after him, but I think we need a long rest at least yeah. for Nace's character. <laughs> well, for my character, and for your character, so that you can be healed after, you know, the brush with near death due to the undead uh, Minotaur person that was named M- Amber, I Amber. think it was. Amber. Uh, I was yes. gonna say I'm- Amber. Need to put more. Uh... Nice. This isn't Danny Phantom. I know. Shush. <laughs> I... Okay. Ah! So uh... one one long rest later. So that's eight hours. Uh, so so far uh, since you started your adventure, two days have passed. Hooray! Woo! Since getting fucking shipwrecked, like the other. Uh, party, I'm going to be keep, keeping track of how many days pass. Yes, because we have a were-rat in our midst. Something like that. I, anyway. can't, I can't believe that Broccoli was a were-bear the whole time. I can't believe our new pet wolf was a werewolf this whole time. I can't believe our new pet wolf was a were-human this whole time. Thank you for actually correcting me. <laughs> He just turns into a bigger wolf when the moon comes out. <laughs> I, I, can't, I can't believe our were human was a wolf the whole t- way. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, uh, right. So uh, upon waking up, it's morning. It's very morning. It's a very nice, shiny day. The sun is just beaming directly into your eyes, forcing you to wake up with all that vitamin D it's doing. Mm. Yeah, five more minutes. <laughs> oh, shut the chicken up. <laughs> I'm going to try to turn off the alarm by smacking it. Okay. <laughs> hey, really? I'm, I'm sleepily just searching for it. Eh, shut up. Okay, so you're, you're waggling your, your arm around for an alarm. That that's to- that's totally a thing in this setting. It's just <laughs> actually, Icky is just sitting on like a nearby rock or something, making bird noises to wake them up. <laughs> <laughs> the alarm, see? <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> oh Christ! Well, Chill Chill's already awake thanks to elf physics. Um, of course, 
Elf yeah, what, what, what about our pet Woof? Woof is sleeping. He's actually uh, curled up uh, next to a uh, tomb just because of the warmth. <laughs> he, he was uh, previously uh, just s sleeping next to Icky, but then she woke up. <laughs> just moved over and fell right back to sleep. <laughs> back to sleep next to Tomb. Okay, uh, seeing that my wow. incessant cawing is not working to wake Tomb up, mm -hmm. I'm gonna go whap him on the face. Okay. Uh... <laughs> Like not not with the intent to hurt him, just like basically the equivalent of wing bap to the nose. Okay, so you, so you so you bap uh, Tomb's nose, uh, Tomb. Your nose is bap. Oh, that's coming from that mess. What? What? Good morning. Ah, uh, morning. Yeah. What? What happened? You weren't waking uh. up. I woke you up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. We're gonna get on the move then, or are we eating first? Um, depends. Does food take time to make? Uh, if you got rations, then you can just take down the, the amount of rations you got. I will say, like, 15 minutes as fast, which... Isn't that much in the long run? Well, let's see. I do have. Well, would you say that we used up at least one or one day of ration already? Yeah, um, I'm going to say that. So, let's right. take down two. Unless you want a day without eating. No, I don't think that's a good idea. Not that all. So, where are we headed again? We were headed to Spice Bay. Sp oh, right. Uh, stop your captain from destroying a civilization or something. God, Tim, you are fucking apathetic when you wake up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, when I don't get my beauty sleep, <laughs> I need Why at least... Why would you need beauty sleep? <laughs> You're not very pretty. <laughs> Says the walking, talking chicken. <laughs> Excuse you, I I am an eagle. A majestic e <laughs> eagle that crows in the morning like a chicken. Cause you weren't waking up. <laughs> like I said, I like my cat naps. All right, so uh, if you're going to be on the move, I'm going to say survival to go in the right direction. Sure, fuck it. Let's do this. I'm going to do this. Normal, right? Uh, yes. Okay. <laughs> uh, uh, so you... Okay. So, Hang on, let me see if I can roll better than that. <laughs> and before you gotta get fucking... Um... Nope, we're good. That was okay. chill. That was ch Ah, oh, fuck, I forgot. Sorry. Oh, man, I didn't realize I had chills open. You were using chills. This Okay. So for once, chill actually fucks up. <laughs> chill starts walking like... Okay. This way, and Icky just grabs him and turns him around. Apparently, Chill has a negative one to survival. Holy shit. Something he's actually shit at. Survival. He has a negative one to animal handling, and we still somehow got him to tame the wolf. Uh, okay, there you go. I have a handout about travel times. Uh, rules. Travel. Uh, MCC's rules of handouts. Rules okay, so travel. moving at. Uh, were you moving at fast, normal, or slow pace? I guess normal. Normal sound good. <clears throat> okay, so. And move. And for an hour, you move three miles, so about here. I've recently doubled the length of the entire island. Fair enough. And you come across, on your way to Spice Bay, uh, something a little weird. 
I will say. Ooh, is that a crystal? Oh, down here. Yes. <laughs> uh, is this so, town? So you you make you make your way in. There's a uh, singular cabin you end up stumbling upon. It looks like some kind of traveler stop. Okay, I walk one, two. Th- oh God! What? Okay. <laughs> Okay, so, um, Hickey, what you see is some some nasty stuff, as people have these crystals pi- uh, puncturing directly through them and are uh, seem to be wandering around. Uh, two of them are just hitting their hands against uh, the walls of this um, house. Uh, and, what the... I'm gonna fly over and bap this dude on the snoot. Okay, uh... Icky, where are you going? So... Talk later! Bap thing now! <laughs> I'm gonna <laughs> just turn the corner at the very least. <laughs> okay, yeah, I come out. Let um, you guys move, uh, determine your location before this starts. Uh... Oh, determine location. I, I was, I'd be chasing after Icky, honestly, so I could be end up here. <clears throat> so when you're just about to attack that thing there, um, this suddenly shoots a shard at you. Oh boy. Okay. What is your AC? My AC is 15. Okay, that's good. So uh, another shard, not as big as I wanted it to be, but sh- that's okay. I'll just put that on the map there. <laughs> a little bigger than I thought it would be. So, just shoots in between you and the uh, person with a crystal in their chest. What? Icky so, kind of when... yelps in alarm as she barely dodge or dodges handily or however well she dodges based on what you rolled. Uh, yeah, handily dodged. But it nearly hit you. Alright, so that's gonna be an initiative, as this you got surprised during your surprise round. <laughs> surprised during the surprise! Sure, it's a good thing we have some bonus two initiatives. Mmm. Yeah. And uh, chill. Let's Let's do this, chill. Um, does Chill get a bonus as well? Sure, yeah, that makes sense. Alright. Because he's giving the bonus. Wow, I can't roll very high with Chill right now. Uh, checking this out. That's my. Oh, okay. So, I probably should have put this on the token layer if I'm going to put it in the initiative. What the fuck? Probably. Okay. In descending order. Okay. First things first. Do I recognize whatever the thing is that shot the, uh, the crystal? Um, hmm... Roll uh, history at advantage because you have a book about it. All right. So skills, histomystery at advantage. Oh boy, all of a plus one. Oh, oh wow, good thing for the advantage. Um, so what this thing is is something the mask is able to do. Just, just um, conjure up this large crystal spire of necrotic corruption just placed on the ground. What it does is attack whoever's nearby and then control them after they've reached, like, zero hit points. Oh. So if you drop to to zero hit points, you're going to be in the same position as those people. Okay, but can we kill it? That's the real question. Uh, yeah, that that is a good question. Is there a 
vulnerability or way to reverse this? Uh, yeah, I'm going to say with a 15, you know that it is vulnerable to radiant, uh, radiant damage. It is resistant to piercing and immune to necrotic damage. Fun. Okay. That, that's very good to know before I ended up th rolling Dole of the Dead. I will be right back, sorry. I okay. A thing has it occurrenced. A thing has occurrenced. <clears throat> well, uh, with this thing that has occurred, and whilst we wait for our avid adventurer, uh, Icky's, Icky to, to return to consciousness, I am going to not have the travel thing open. That, that is a bad idea. So, am I allowed to still cast a spell, or was that my action with the history check? Um, I'm going to say that was a bit during your... Uh, no, no. I asked you to roll history, so... If I ask you to roll something, that doesn't take your action. Okay. Unless it's, like, specifically related to the action you're taking, in which case, yeah. Yeah, because uh, I feel like just to know something would be like at a glance to see how much I could remember from it. It's like, oh, that's what that is. Yeah. Uh, but if I'm actively trying to perceive it, that makes a lot of sense, yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> okay, so... Bless... Uh, I don't have that prepared. Oh! <laughs> Unfortunate. No. Oh, I'm not, I'm looking at my level one spells. There. Here we go. Cantrips. Oh, I should probably um roll initiative for the dodge. Well, I mean the dodge can go on Chill's turn. No. Uh, the wolf's already gone on Chill's turn. I'm talking about the other one. Oh, this one. A yeah, spooky one. Spooky, spooky crystal doggy ton. Alright. So this thing can go 60 feet away. Oh. That's a good thing for map sizes. I know, right? Sacred flame! Uh, I invoke oh thee! Oh, no. Oh. All right. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> you a flame-like radiance descends on onto the corruption bloom, just splashing it in radiant light, and you you notice a couple cracks start forming on the the, the crystal spire shard thing. All right. Um, the thing. So with that, um. I'm going to also run over to Icky just in case. You're gonna go right behind. Yeah. Right next to a uh, delicious, uh, slightly burnt meat on the fire, as well as some soup that is also burning. Oh, the soup is burning. Oh no. I think you can burn soup, like overcook it at least. Yeah, but at that point, all the liquid is gone. Okay, so then what I'll say is all the liquid is gone and all of the stew bits of the stew is just... Cooked in, <sighs> yeah. Just... Blech. Lovely. Smoking. Alright, so that's your turn. Um, so, whilst uh, we're waiting, I might as well expand some of the pogs uh, to show you a thing to do. Uh, that's... That one, that's that one. Jeez, this is nightmarish. That's that one. So are they crying like tears of corruption, or is that just kind of like their veins coming out of their eyes? Yeah, that's like little tears. Oh, okay. It's the spook tears. That it spooks. is really spooky. Just stabbed right through the chest. Jeez. Inconvenienced by a shard of thing crystal. A shard of greed. 
Ah, oh, shit, I probably should have covered up some areas, but whatever. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Um. So. Yes. Yeah. That this is this is the thing. Uh. Probably move the uh, wolf over here. That makes sense. Uh. <laughs> the wolf is so happy, or just has a really big nose. God, hold on. Let me... <laughs> <laughs> I don't. I don't want to imagine it as a nose. No, please. <laughs> it's too late. You now imagine it as a nose. <laughs> it's just a nose, just out to here, <laughs> like a cartoony nose. Um. Hmm. <laughs> How to fill the time? Oh, um. Yeah. Hold on. Uh, let's um get uh, to to the one of those trinkets in your inventory to fill some time. A letter from a dead man who asked you a question. Oh, that. That's uh, at the top of the handouts. It should be. Uh, yeah. Letter of a dead man. Oh, Sorry mind. Mind. about that. I'm back. Okay. <laughs> well, <Hello. man. laughs> Okay. So, well, uh, first things first. I turn to two. Is plan? Uh, yeah. This thing is apparently, uh, susceptible to the radiant energy. I would say try to find some way to get into this building so that we can avoid further complications. Um, is, is Kat sure he will be okay with these, these dudes? She motions to the spike people. Uh, no, I'm not sure. <laughs> but having a way of protection is also a very vital thing. So, either... If you feel comfortable enough to face off against these things out here, then um, by all means do so. I'll take care of the giant crystal. Okay. Try roof if look for way in. And with that, she turns and tries to do a step. Okay. Um, go ahead. Uh, Stabby. This, oh, that's a good hit. Uh, the problem is every single one of my things except my talons are piercing damage <laughs> so I'm not much used yeah. against the crystal <laughs> but I can attempt to keep the mooks and things off of tomb while he attacks the crystal yeah right, so you make a really effective uh, strike against uh, the unfortunate individual in front of you as uh, they they are pierced and they look the not good av after it. Okay. Um you can actually check a uh, thing real quick. Yeah, yeah, you can actually you can actually hear them uh, wail uh, and murmur after doing so. Uh, <laughs> so it is the giant the giant fucking crystal turn. Um. <laughs> Till's just last in initiative. Just gonna, like. Ah, I'm gonna be coming, guys. Don't worry. Right. Um. Um. Uh. Yeah, it's going to, uh. It's going to attack with the shard thing. Oh, shit. On who? Uh, all right. Uh, I was rolling. Uh, so <laughs> okay, misses again. 
Phew. Uh, Actually, I, I've just had an idea. Uh, I want to check something. Ah, that was a GM layer. Click, Whoops. click, click me pog, and do you see a thing? Do you do you see the thing in the red circle? Yes. Okay, that that's my AC. So if if oh. do that, then would be easy to check and not have to ask it, what your AC. Oh yeah, well I know yours is fifteen and. Yep, there, there we go. That solves a lot. Yep. <laughs> and let's uh, just do this for a chill. Okay. There so, uh, this 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 bork dog comes up to you and is going to try to bite your bird leg. Uh, and unfortunately, thanks to pack tactics that wolves usually get, it gets an advantage against you if uh, one of its allies is within five feet. Ooh. Wow, that was that was bad. <laughs> that does, Good job, that, dog. Unfortunately, yeah, it, it it tries to nip at your uh, your foot, you just, but you just fly up slightly. The thing, the the uh, the person in front of you is going to attempt to hit you with his hand. <laughs> <laughs> And this one actually hits. Wow. Okay. Good job. Good job. Too focused on the dog. Alright, so that's going to be five bludgeoning damage as he slams his fist down on you. Ow! Rude! Uh... <laughs> Chill, sir. Uh, let's give it to Tomb first, then. I mean, Nace. Okay, um, with chill, let's see here, inventory, no, not inventory, weapons, 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 ooh, okay, so how far away can he throw a javelin? Doesn't really say. Uh, about... 20 to 60 feet. Oh, okay. So let's see sure. here. And... We'll throw a javelin. Why not? Okay. Boop. Normal. Boop. Wow. Yeah. That, uh, that, that pokes right into that nice burning roast right there. Just pokes right through it. All right, so he is hungry for some reason. I lowered the amount of ammo that the javelin has by one. Oh, Chris, it's too big. Regular. There we go. Uh, check your yeah. I was gonna say check your brush to make sure that you are on the <laughs> thing. Yeah. Uh, tomb. All right. So since we've established what can end up really hurting this thing, so that's only thirty feet away now. You know, I think it's like good that it's literally impossible <laughs> for it to roll any deck saves. <laughs> it, it, it is literally not moving. <laughs> yeah. All right, so that's another eight damage um, thanks to vo uh, vulnerabilities. Woo Today we learned about vulnerabilities, which we would have learned about last session if. Nace's rolls weren't always shit. Shush! <laughs> this is why I'm cheating. I mean, um, using tactics to not have to roll to hit. <laughs> Christ. Well, I mean, technically, yeah. Uh, Icky, your turn. You are currently have a dog at your side, a cat behind you, and a person in front of you. Okay. Um, what kind of action does use in order to change weapon? Uh, I uh, say that's like a, what? Go ahead. Uh, I say that's gonna take your movement. Okay, in that case, I will wait to change weapon. 
Well, and instead, uh, well, Gate, get me some payback by booping this dude with the sword again. Gate, okay. one thing I yes. have learned about um, when it comes to switching weapons and stuff what? is yes, it does take a movement action, but you can drop your weapon and do a basically a free action to pull out your old uh, the new weapon, but you're not having your first weapon that you have in your hand. Back in your inventory, you have to go and pick it back up later. Oh, I see. So it takes less time if you just drop your weapon, pick up another one. Yeah, pretty much. That's neat. So uh, go ahead and do your thing, uh, Nib. I'm uh, booping with sword. Okay. So he does a sword boop, and he the the shard that has been puncturing through their chest uh, just shatters, and they fall down. Okay, now Wolf no longer has flanky pack tactic bonus shit. Yeah, but with wolves that don't necessarily need to be like behind you and in front of you, they could just activate it if someone's near. Yeah, that's that's what I'm saying. It was either move over, move over here, and then like fight Wolf or Wolf crossbow to shoot at him, gotten, or like, just get rid of him. <laughs> fucking would have gotten an opportunity attack from both of them. Yeah. I mean, I can disengage if I want, but... <laughs> Fly straight upwards, too. Alright. Uh, so, um, the large crystal spire is going to attempt to hit uh, Tomb. Of course. And then the fucking dice falls off the table. Never mind. <laughs> okay, so... God damn it. Oh no, I I've feel been like hit. there's a house rule in some or other game that I have played at some point where if the dice falls off the table it's counted as a miss. Because if you can't hit the table with your dice, then you can't hit your enemy. Well, I'm a GM. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm not saying we implement it for this, I'm just <laughs> saying that thought popped into my mind when you knocked it off the table. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right, so the bark uh, is going to uh, bite at the burb, and it hits. So this is going to be... an amount of damage. Give me a second. I don't got any of my D4s, so I'm just going to use this. Okay, six piercing damage from dog bark, dog bork bite. Man, it sure is a good thing I have so much health now. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Uh, what health are you at? I am at nine of twenty. Wow. If I had been at my old health, I would be unconscious. <laughs> uh. All right. So uh, this. Um, particular one over here starts walking toward you and just I was gonna say stand over but goddamn pogs sometimes anyway you can do to front or back thing yeah yeah uh and is gonna hit you all right uh you're east you <laughs> wow it is hard to talk yeah, so he does manage to hit you with his hand arms that he has on the ends of his shoulders for six bludgeoning damage. Oh no, Icky, you got six bludgeoning damage on your bleh. Right on your bleh. <laughs> the most important... Stop laughing, Icky! Stop <laughs> it! And uh, this... Uh, on, this small child... This unfortunate small child. Oh. Oh. Poor girl. Guess we're gonna have to kill her. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> she has been corrupted. Oh my god. And it's Chill Penguin Deck's turn. This time it's Niv's. And the wolf just hides behind the cabin. Okay. Chill penguin deck go is gonna is gonna go him over there. Oh shit! So he gets flanky bonus against Doggo. Yes, that means you have advantage. All right, let me just 
actually get to the thing that I want to roll for him. He's gonna do himself an advantage. It, it just uh, God damn it, chill. Chill. Well, that would have been great if it hit. It makes a massive amount of damage to the ground. Good, good job, uh, chill. Good, good job. Well, at least he didn't hit the javelin that's in the fire. <laughs> Right, walking over, just hits himself in the leg a little bit. It's like, ow, oh, fuck. <laughs> That's what threw him off. Alright. Well, you know pretty much what I'm gonna do here. You're gonna dance and summon your deity to do things for you. Oh, go ahead. Yes, exactly. Oh, fairy man of the river sticks, end up hearing my plea and create a sacred flame to destroy this evil cursed crystal congratulations you did more than 8 damage this time no no i still did 8 damage no you have 6 da- d6 you have 6 radiant and vulnerable means at 12 oh, yeah i thought it, damage. oh i thought it was max damage never mind no it's it's 1d8 radiant damage means you roll a d8 and what you get is the damage. Yes, but every time I was rolling a 4, I was getting 8. So I was assuming that, oh, it's just going to be the What's max DC for vulnerability. Four? For vulnerability. I thought vulnerability I under, I under, was just max damage, period. I, I, under, I understand how, how that would happen. But no, vulnerable is you double the damage. So the okay. ability you have in the grave domain is really nasty. <laughs> Wait. Icky. What? No. Okay. Th- um, this is just standard cleric thing. Jesus. First things first, I will use my magic old rogue ability of activating the bonus action, which allows me to fucking disengage from these fuckers uh-huh. and and still have movement stuff. Yes. So Icky now flies up. And Lando's on this roof here. Okay. Just get the wing and put it on like a... Shit, it's... Where the hell's the wing? Boop. There we go. Am on roof. You are am on roof. And then I drop my sword behind me and mm-hmm. pull out my short bow. Oh. And shoot at the wolf. Okay. Does does get anything for being on roof or no? Uh, no. Okay. They can't hit you. That's that's one thing. You're not yep. flanking either. Okay. Does is do hit? Uh, hold on a second. Check. Does twelve beat uh, crystal dog? No, unfortunately not. You you shoot your short bow and end up hitting the crystal instead, and the arrow flails off into the distance. There's just, like, a comical spring noise. Nice shot! Sorry! Uh, right, uh... Alright, so, so it's the giant spire's turn again, and it is it is the not happy about being... Well, I d- can't really express emotions as a construct, but shit, fam, we'll just pretend it's angry. <laughs> And it has just been pel- apparently just pelting this cabin with just so many shards. <laughs> hey, at least we can say that it can hit the broadside of a barn. At the very least, a broadside of a barn. <laughs> As a uh, Bork Crystal Stab Dog is gonna try to attack you, uh, Tomb, and miss, because. God damn it, that AC is really high. <laughs> yes, it is. <laughs> uh, this particular one goes over here. Oh. And is going to bap you with this. Oh, hold on a minute. Hey. Okay, that was very close. Did you just narrowly avoid that one hit by the, uh, <laughs> uh, by the individual? Thank God I have squishy. <laughs> As a small child walks up behind you and is going to attack you with advantage. Hey, hey, calm <laughs> down. I'm trying to save you. Uh, god damn it. 
<laughs> you rolled ten twice. <laughs> <laughs> wow, this is the first. That's time almost I'm... as bad as me rolling a seven and a eight. I'd like to just imagine here that the the two end up walking up simultaneously since this is within the same six seconds, and um, the guy goes to to punch me. I duck, but as I duck, I lift up my leg and put it on the face of the, the girl to stop her from actually reaching me. No, no, what you do is you comically duck, and they both punch at you at the same time, and instead end up playing patty cake above your head. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> well, something happened. Uh, chill, as it's, uh, it's like, penguins. You, you take the moment that I thought was gonna be cool, and you're just like, ah, let's make it funny. It's <laughs> In an alternate timeline, both happened. Uh, Chill Penguin deck uh, should be Nasus during this time. Um, okay. I'm gonna grab the javelin out of the fire. Okay. And wield a fire-branded javelin. And try a, a really hot javelin. It's a really hot javelin. I don't wanna... It is a to really hot da- javelin. I'm gonna say it's got, Some like, hot stuff. one extra fire damage. Okay. Because it was, it's been heated up. Plus one and javelin. Oh, normal. Yeah, it's normal. Javelin misses. Was that a throw or is that a stab? That was a stab. Well, he hit the crystal and fucking dropped it. <laughs> I'm just imagining this dramatic music as he pulls the javelin from the fire, takes aim at the dog, brings it down, and then there's just the thong. And the music just cuts out abruptly. Yeah, oh, God, pretty I wish much. I could do that. Um, <laughs> what's the recording time at? Uh, forty-two. Mm. All right, let's uh, do a little bit more. Uh, actually, let's uh, let's split the recording here. We gotta go do something. All right. So until the next time, we'll see if Tomb manages to survive being surrounded by three people. We'll see if we die after another 15 minutes pass. Yay! (laughs) See you then!